Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today I have for you the unboxing of the Marches of the March Back Quarter Shop Sew Sampler. Um, I just picked it up um, from the mail today, and I also received the um, sneak peek to let me know what the theme of the box was going to be. So I'll insert a quick clip right here for you. Or would you rather see the sneak peek right before I open the box? Because you just don't want it too much anticipation if you get it early. So comment down below which you would rather have. Would you rather get the sneak peek earlier or right before I open the box? So without keeping you waiting any longer, I'm going to open it up and see what we received this month. Okay. Spectrum. And that was also our... Name. Oh, okay. On the back, they advertise for a sew sampler quilt revealed 2017 basket sew sampler quilt. Okay. So if you followed along with the um, basket blocks, um, this is what the finished quilt, how the finished quilt would look, I believe, from 2017. I believe that's what it's saying. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, this is cute. Okay. Let me go through this. Put all that back. So, okay. Of course, our card, that, our pamphlet that lets us know everything that comes in the box. I never look at it, but it does say this box value is over $60. And our sticker handmade okay and this month I received um, the 2017 basket block number 12 that is this one this is the last basket block in the series and then they also gave me a card for the finishing now for the finishing um, it looks like it's for if you want to do the backing and binding so depending on what size blocks you are making, they give you the measurements to do for the binding and the backing. So that's really nice. And then I show you on the back how to assemble everything together. Okay, sorry. So this card right here is just saying, um, when you put it all together, this is how it will look. And if you sewed along with the basket block to Tag them on social media at hashtag basket sew sampler quilt. So, okay. And then they also have the fat quarter bundle if you would like to make it. Now, I do not have all of the cards. I think when I started, it was back in, I think, August. And I think I started with, like, number four or five or something like that. So, I don't have everything. Okay, next up, we have True Grips, which is a non-slip adhesive ring that you can apply to the back of your ruler. Cool, so that's neat. Oops, I just tore it. So, you're supposed to get 15 small ones and 15 large ones. This is just a little pamphlet to show you how to use it. And then here, they kind of look like... um. And you can see that, like, the reinforcements that you put in your notebook paper. So they have a, out, a bigger ring, a large one, and then they have the little dot in the middle is the smaller one. 15 in each. So you can put them on the back of your ruler to keep your ruler from slipping if you have that problem um, while you're cutting with the rotary cutter. So that's really nice. Ooh, I would love this. Next up, we have... it's a little tape measure that is so nifty a little tape measure and it goes all the way up to 60 inches so five feet and you just push this little button right there and it snaps right back in there it's so cute and it has a little hook if you want to hook it on your key ring or anything like that that is so neat it almost looks like um like a little makeup compact so that is really cute okay 
put it back in the box. I like that one. <laughs> Next up, we received a Creative Grids ruler. It's the four inch curvy log cabin trim ruler. You can create the illusion of curves with this four inch version of our popular curvy log cabin trim tool series. So let me take it out of the packaging. Let's see how it looks. It looks like here they give you little instructions on how to use the ruler. So I'll read over that later because you probably don't care about that right now. So this is the ruler. It has a quarter inch seam allowance already built in. And I definitely will have to read the instructions because I have no idea how to use this. I would just rather use it. I would just use it if I was cutting a four inch square. So I need to read up on how to actually use this other than cutting out a four inch square or four and a half inch square with the seam allowance. So this is our ruler. And it already has the little grips on the back for the non-slip. So you don't have to use these grips that we received. You don't have to use it on this because it's already non-slip on the back of this one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh man. This is nice. Okay, this is the Ombre Confetti Metallic. It is by Moda. And, oh, they look like fat quarters. This is so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. I love colorful stuff. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Oh my gosh. Is this a fat quarter? No, it looks more than a fat quarter. Oh my goodness. What is this? It looks like more than a fat quarter worth. Let me show you what prints we have. So we have this. Oh cool, it's like an ombre effect. If you can see here how it starts, this is the beginning. It's darker and it's a little lighter on this side of the fabric. So the fabric itself has an ombre effect to it. As you can see on this one, how it's darker here, it gets lighter here and even lighter on this side. And they all have polka dots. Then we have the blue one. See, start off dark, a little lighter, and by the time it gets over here, it's even lighter. And then we have the green one. All right. Lighter there. Oh my gosh, this is really neat. This looks like half yard cuts. So, oh man, I'm really excited about this one. Oh, this is really cute. Get my little trash out. And last, we have the quilt pattern for this month. It is for the Sparkler quilt. Very nice. It's cute design on the front. And as always, they give you cutting instructions. And they use the, um, they use this ruler. When they show you how to cut out the pieces, they use this ruler. So that's really nice. And I see now why they have this ruler have these little squares built other little squares in them and i can see now here how you would use that square they're making like a log cabin but without having a cut i'm thinking each little small individual piece so we'll see we will see this is really really nice this is one i really really would like to make oh my gosh this is so cute so anyway okay so this is one block and I think this here is the finished quilt because you can get to, you can do two sizes. Yes, okay. The uh, fabric that we received is half yard. It's a half yard bundle. And you get four half yard cuts. So you can make a lap version which will finish at 50 and a half by 50 and a half and that will just include one of the diamond shaped patterns. And if you do the lap version, 
you're going to need to buy a background fabric as well as a backing fabric and the background fabric it looks like they just use white so if you already have white fabric you can use that for the background and you'll just have to buy something for the backing and for the background you'll need three yards for the backing you need three and three eighths of a yard and then also you can do a queen size version that quilt will finish at 83 and a half by 83 and a half and you will also need to buy background as well as backing material to finish the quilt for the background you'll need eight and a half yards and they just used white for the background and the backing you will need seven and seven eighths of a yard so almost about that's uh, so almost eight yards for the backing if you do decide to do the queen size quilt just know that you will need to approach you will need to purchase three more sets of this half yard um, bundle so you'll need three more of these if you're going to do the queen size quilts if you're going to do the lap version you have everything that you need there already so that is that one. Oh my gosh it's really cute and these little things they kind of remind me of like the pac-man like with the mouth open it's so cute i love it oh i'm so excited with this box oh my gosh i think this is my all-time favorite everything looks so cute oh my gosh so this is everything that we received in the box i will leave a breakdown in the description box of everything that we received in the box how much it'll cost if you bought each item individually and then I will also list um, the price difference from getting the sew sampler box which is just $24.95 a month and I will leave information if you would like to subscribe for the sew sampler box it's a monthly subscription box so I will leave all that information down below so comment if you like this month's box, are you excited about the items that I just showed you? Are you going to make the quilt that was in this box? Also comment down below. Don't forget to let me know if you would like to have the sneak peek right before I open the box. Or would you rather get it earlier when I get it, when I first get it? So let me know. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye.